Hello and thank you for joining our Sonoma Partners webinar as part of our healthcare series for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Today we're discussing how we've used Microsoft CRM to create an efficient solution for case coordination. So when we talk about case coordination, at a high level we're talking about coordinating the patient activities between different organizations, facilities, and clinicians. Being able to effectively manage the pre- and post-admission process allows us to evaluate the quality of our incoming referrals as well as to maintain contact with discharged patients and follow up with them appropriately. For this segment, we're going to look at a scenario where we have a patient being referred from a local hospital to one of our long-term care facilities. We might have a referral manager on site that is capturing some information about the prospective patient, doing some qualification disqualification, and admitting them into our system. We can then keep track of the eventual patient discharge and coordinate our follow-up activities. Lastly, we can utilize reporting and dashboards to manage all of this information and evaluate the quality of the referrals we're receiving. So we're logged into the Microsoft CRM web client and we're looking at a list of prospects. Assuming we want to track a new prospective patient named Jeffrey Johnson, we'll first want to search to see if he's already in our database. We can do a quick search on his last name and seeing that we have no record of him, we'll go ahead and create a new prospect record. Just like everything else in the system, these fields are highly configurable and can be tailored to fit your needs. We can enter some basic information about our prospect, and then as part of our pre-admission process, we can select the facility that we're looking to admit him to. Next, we'll want to capture this prospect's referral information. What this allows us to do is to keep track of where these referrals are coming from, both from which hospitals we work with as well as from which physicians. I can go ahead and record that this prospect is coming from St. Mary's and that our referral physician is Dr. Pack. I can take a quick look at Dr. Pack's record and you'll notice that we're maintaining a rating for his referral activity with us. This can be handy information to pull into various referral reports. We can also take a quick glance at that doctor's successful referrals and see their status within our network facilities. Going back to our new prospect record, we can continue to complete our pre-admission process where we can gather useful information such as the prospect's primary contact in the event that it is someone other than themselves, allow the system to automatically calculate the prospect's age for us, and record the primary diagnosis and method of payment. We're now ready to save this record and make a determination on admission. This prospect could be disqualified for a number of reasons and we're able to capture some of those which might be handy in our evaluation of the quality of our incoming physician referrals. In this case, we'll admit the prospect and go ahead and have the system create a new patient record. So here's our standard patient record form and as you can see we've carried over all of the information collected from our prospect record. We have all of our data elements organized in different sections on different tabs, and again, this is all completely customizable, and we can use this form to continue to track key information about the patient regarding the payer, level of care, important status dates, etc. And then there's also an area where you can add any freeform notes or attach relevant documents. In addition, Microsoft CRM allows us to utilize workflows, which allow you to define and automate different business processes, and these can be triggered accordingly. In this case, we've set up one for each time we admit a new patient. Here you can see we now have one running against our new patient record, and it's configured to assist us in gathering the appropriate documents and completing our new patient assessments. The little green check marks indicate that the workflow has created those tasks and assigned them to the appropriate people. And then the green circle indicates that the workflow is waiting for those tasks to be completed before proceeding. Again, you can define whatever types of processes you want, and the workflow engine allows you to do a lot of this automation. Taking a look again at the patient record, you can see a list of activities that need to be completed and these were all created by the workflow we just looked at. For example, if we open one of these up, we can see some of the instructions for completing the pre-admission nursing assessment and this can be proactively assigned to the appropriate department or person. Back again to our patient record, we can use CRM to automatically create and associate admission forms to our patient record and this can be integrated to work in coordination with your clinical admission system. So we can maintain the historical information regarding admissions to our network facilities, including the referral information in each case, all in one centralized system, rather than having your patient information spread across multiple systems. 
We can also use the system to automatically create an electronic record when the patient is discharged from our facilities, again in coordination with our admission system. In this way, we can use Microsoft CRM to keep tabs on where the patient went when they were discharged, maintain any feedback they might have provided about their stay, and coordinate our follow-up activities. We have another simple example of a workflow process here, which can assist with our follow-up initiatives, including phone call check-ins or follow-up assessments, etc. And you can see that these activities have all been completed and are maintained in the history. Finally, if we take a step back, we could take a look at an example of a dashboard area in the system where users can see information from across the system all in one spot. For example, we may have an area used to deliver announcements, and you can scroll through a list of these here at the top. On the right, you might have an area where you can see some trending, maybe based on patient resident status, point in time, week to date, month to date, etc., as well as a graphical breakdown, or types of scheduled appointments, or really whatever you might want to see from an at-a-glance perspective. You could also quickly filter your list of contacts in your database to potentially see patients who might be on your waiting list. So, in summary, we wanted to show how you can utilize Microsoft CRM's capabilities to assist with your case coordination efforts. Some of the highlights are being able to capture lead referral information so you can track and understand where your prospects are coming from and who influenced or referred them to you. So you can invest and spend time with the doctors who are giving you the highest number of quality leads. Utilizing Microsoft CRM Workflow Engine to assist with your admission and discharge process to ensure that all of your patients have a consistent experience which will hopefully lead to improved satisfaction levels. And then for reporting and analysis, the ability to create dashboards in order to have the key metrics you frequently look at automatically generated and displayed in one spot rather than having to have someone manually bring this type of information together. And hopefully this will allow you more time to spend in more important areas, such as with your patients and physicians. Microsoft has a pretty comprehensive white paper regarding this topic. If you're interested in that, we can get you a copy. Also, please feel free to contact us about anything you saw today, or if you want to talk more about a comprehensive demo that can be tailored to fit your specific needs. Thank you.